This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video I'm going to show you some upgrades that I got for my bike from Temu. And our first item is... So before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. A biker's bell. So my wife bought me this lovely biker's bell. So it, uh, if you guys Know what this is? Awesome! If you don't know what it is, go look it up. <laughs> it's for protection, and it is a gift, and it was installed by the gift giver. So we followed those rules. Anyway, I bought one of these rubber feet that you can put at the bottom of your stand to give it more of a grip and so on. So we're going to install this and see what it looks like on the bike. Only problem is I'm gonna to have to modify it. Um, as you can see, it's got this little lip. I might have to grind the lip down a bit, but we'll see now when I actually install it. If I can just install it as is, or is it necessary to take the lip off? So it's pretty straightforward. Just loosen these three Allen keys, and the front cover comes off. And then you slide it into your stand, and you tie it down. Let me see if it's gonna work. Oh, and you even get this little allen key with your packet. There we go guys, now I've got a nice broad foot piece with a nice big rubber at the bottom to prevent it from slipping and also from scratching my floor. Also very easy installation. Next item is from this company called BSDDP and it is actually wind protectors um, or wind windshields what do you want to call it to protect your hands from direct contact to the wind so it just looks like this and it basically protects the handlebars your your brake and clutch lever and also actually the main function is to guard your hands from the wind installing them was quite easy I just took the old tips off that was here and <laughs> looked at the picture because I didn't get any instructions and just put them on, tied them down. So now at least I have a little bit of a wind shield that can divert the wind away from my hands a little bit. Um, I'll still ride with it and see where I must adjust it to. I just kind of adjusted it so it looks more or less uniform but I will now see when I ride if I must adjust it up a little bit or adjust it down a little bit but I'm sure if I'm gonna fall now I'm gonna break them off it is plastic after all except for this little metal strip except for this little metal strip here the rest is all plastic so let's hope I don't drop it again Last time when I dropped the bike, the first and last time, I actually broke the pegs off that was here. And I had to buy these ugly ones as a necessity just to be able to ride. But thanks to Temu, I finally received my, my new ones. Let me see if they fit. This is the one that was on the bike. The other one broke off there, right there. And this is the new replacement. It is a bit... Uh, broader than the original same length same thick, uh, thicker and a bit broader which I think is good but less broad than that ugly one that's on there at the moment let me see if I put this on how it looks 
Here's just a quick comparison between the uh, new ones and those ugly ones to see the difference. And there we go guys, doesn't this look much better? It actually suits the bike better than the other ones and it's now so much easier for me to change the gears as well. Our next item is this M7 strobe lights. I bought them for a flashy unit or for lights on the bike. Specifically for if I have to ride at night or for if I have to ride in misty conditions. It comes with this very nice remote that I'm going to put onto my keys and then it comes with two flashy units and of course a USB charger and underneath on the flashes it does have magnetic points but I tried it on the bike and my bike is 90% plastic there's no metal points for it to go so you get these nice velcro strips which is awesome and convenient because you put it on both and if you want to charge it you just take the velcro off and charge it luckily the manual is not only in Chinese but English too just a warning if you have epilepsy please do not look at the following scenes and then uh, when it flashes it flashes seven different colors but in solid mode there's four colors so we've got white that you can adjust the brightness on then we've got red and we've got green and this is just for, for the extra visibility at night we've got blue and then we can go disco this will be working now for if I'm working with driving in mist I think I will use this one although I might get into trouble for using the flashes but otherwise I'll just use the, the, the extra white ones for um, when riding in mist. Our last item that I've received is this Quinn Life Y20 communication system or Bluetooth radio if you want to call it like that. I got this so that if the wife calls me or needs to speak to me that I can actually answer because I'm still a new rider. She's extremely worried about me and wants to find out where I am now and then. So it's just nice to know that if she phones me, I can talk to her and let her know that I'm fine. You can also listen to some music on your Bluetooth connection and different strokes with different oaks, guys. I cannot listen and ride in silence. It's impossible. I need some music to concentrate. That's me. I even studied with music on. Um, and then the sound is not so loud that you can't hear the environment I can still hear the wind noise I can still hear the engine I can still hear the environment around me the music and the sound is not overpowering and, and so loud that you can't hear anything so also straightforward you have your mounting bracket you have a charging cable some velcro um, places that you can uh, strap onto inside the helmet actually your communication unit and the speaker and microphone unit it goes inside your helmet the unit here has got RGB that's one of the reasons why I kind of chose it um, as you guys can see this is very freaky <laughs> it's only the reason why I took it you can have different modes different light settings um, so I think this is awesomely very cool I love it you have your volume up and down there you have your microphone up there you have your charging port there and your sound system your speakers get connected in there this is where you answer your calls and this is where you connect to your bluetooth you've got all these different modes different light colors but i'll probably just keep it there very straightforward nothing complicated Let's see how to install it into a helmet. When I first saw the manual, so I thought, oh my word, everything is in Chinese. I will never be able to read this. Luckily for me, they are in different languages. So that's awesome. So let's follow the pictures and see if we can install this thing. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. 
Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to get notified of any of my further uploads. And then until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.